Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have William Webb on the line, and he is... CCO over at World Equity Group. William, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. Thank you for calling, Ed. So, Bill, um, I'm excited to get to today's topic. So we're going to talk about investing uh, in, a, in a down market and, uh, you know, why customers and advisors should be aligned. But before we get into that, let's get a little bit further into what you're doing over at World Equity Group. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do it briefly. Uh, World Equity Group is a... Uh, broker dealer um, and a registered investment advisor, but with the SEC, um, we have over you know a couple billion dollars added up between uh, custody and, and assets under management. Um, and we are located in Arlington Heights, Illinois, and I am the chief compliance officer of that entity. Fantastic. Um, so let's uh, let thank you for that background. Um, so let's just jump right into today's topic. So investing in a down market, why it's important for uh, advisors and clients to be aligned. I mean, where do you want to start with that one? Well, I, I think it's important because uh, people always ask, "What do I do in a down market?" And mm -hmm. and advisors say, "What do I do with my clients in a down market?" And it's been my experience in the past 35 years that that those two questions should be receive the same answer. Um, number one, investing in a down market can mean one of two things, depending where you are in your time horizon. And that's it, when the markets drop, and and you've got 25 years to go to retire. Your goals and objectives are different than somebody who's 62, 63, wants to retire in three years, uh, and is watching their equity, basically, mm -hmm. their, their retirement money just dissipate. Um, so I guess the number one thing I, I want to point out is that, is that for those that have investment advisors, and I'm not talking to the customers who have robo-advisors, um, because obviously there's no advisor to talk to, um, mm -hmm. the, the point is, is that, is that in, a, in a down market, you would need to get a hold of your advisors, and the, your advisor, as that term is used in the industry, needs to get a hold of the customers and reassess where you are in the process. Has anything changed? Do I need to make a, a change with my with my goals? So, you know, if if you're down in the time horizon, and now suddenly you're down 20% on your on your market, your advisor should be all over that. Should be telling you, hey, here's how how we need to handle the current situation. Let's reassess mm -hmm. your goals. And so you should both be on the same page. But what I see happening, Adam, uh, mostly is, is people saying, oh, you know, uh, uh, what, what do I do? What do, do I get out? Do I, do, I, do I sell? Do I just go to cash? Mm -hmm. and, and that's just, in my mind, the wrong way to look at it because uh, down markets come and go. Um, and now is the time to get on the horn um, with your advisor and get on the horn if you're an advisor with your customer and go over what it is you were trying to accomplish in the first place and is that still what you want to accomplish? So I'll pause there. Man, I love it. And I mean, and it, it, they're, they're tough conversations too because right now a lot, a lot of fear, especially in the down market, a lot of fear, a lot of other things that go on and it leads maybe to some of that emotional side of the brain, especially, and that's why I'm a big advocate for having, and I'll, and I'll say my bias. I mean, I haven't been in the industry now for going on four years, but I was an advisor over a decade. And, and you know, there's a big difference between, um, you know, running your or, or investing your money yourself and having that emotional connection and then having somebody that's, if they're acting as fiduciary, great, or if they're not, but having that professional um, yeah. on the other side that's able to just provide and to hold you accountable also for your decision. So meaning by doing things like an IPS or, or their, their statement and to document that if you decide ultimately that you do, that you want to you want to change everything, and I mean, ultimately, it is your money. Even if the advisor is helping you, then you have the right to do that. But if you do make those decisions, to document it and hold you accountable for them, because every decision you make is going to have some ramifications either way. 
And and you're absolutely right. And 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 those decisions um, on either side don't need to be mm-hmm. made in fear. Um, Correct. Yeah, you because know, this this situation, this is not like the the economy is going through a normal cycle. Um, mm-hmm. This this is a nine one one situation. The tower just went down. Everything's going crazy. You don't know what's going to happen. And oftentimes, it's best just to be able to call somebody, like your advisor, and just say, "Man, talk me off the ledge." <laughs> you know, man, what, what should I what should <laughs> what should I do? You know, and 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 to complain. Maybe a little bit, maybe to vent a little bit, um, and then you know what? Here's the thing: is if you're really far down your time horizon, mm-hmm. and you go, I'm going to retire this year in, in 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 June, and I just start taking my RMDs. Well, guess what? The new reality is you probably got to take talk to your advisor about how to realign your assets because you're not going to have if you're down 20 percent, that's 20 percent less mm-hmm. principal that you have to work with. You know, and you can't you can't get that kind of in my mind, you can't get that kind of service from a robo advisor. Yeah, that, that's not going to happen. Fun fact for you, Bill. I started at my first firm, the height of the market in 2007. I can always find my start date just by looking, like literally my first day. Um, yeah. I can always look at a chart, and I can know what my first day was just by looking at a chart. What was the actual, like, tick, the tick mark? That's when I started. <laughs> Every day from that day on, I went into 2008. I remember, that's, I remember thinking, yeah. like, not the day before, not the day after. The exact height of the market was my first day. <laughs> That's, oh man, yeah, that's 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 yeah, and, and you're like, what did I get into, right? <laughs> exactly, but yeah. uh, that's awesome. So um, that being said, Bill, um, appreciate you coming on the show today. Appreciate you sharing more about your background and your and your insight into wh- how advisors and um, and investors should be aligned. If somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about World Equity Group, I mean, how do they? How, what's the best way for them to connect with the company? Um, they we have a website, of course, like everybody else. Mm-hmm. Uh, World Equity Group dot com, um, and and uh, you can find out information there and, and connect with a uh, an advisor, investment advisor, or a broker dealer representative, um, or they can you know send me an email at wwebb at weg one dot com, and I will direct you to uh, uh, somebody that can that can talk to you. It's awesome. Well, hey, Bill, really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, and sharing more. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. Uh, and if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also um, leave us some comments in the video. I mean, love to know what you thought and what kind of things you're working on. And uh, Bill, thanks again for coming on the show.